do London Boxing News from the capital city here with Kevin Mitchell. Kev, you're what, a month out, for a month and a bit out from your biggest fight of your life against Jorge Linares. How's training camp going, sir? Training camp's been very hard. You know, it's all Tony Sims has been training the life out of me. Yeah. Getting me in the best shape of my career and um, been enjoying it. You know, with the boys Ricky Burns, Johnny Ryder, Howard Davis, we're in there working away, grafting every day. And it's what it is, you know? Yeah. Um, regarding sparring, Kev, Obviously, the biggest fight of life. A very important financially for you as well. Um, are we, so, are you bringing in any different sparring for this fight? Or going yeah, we're going to Texas. We're going to Texas for a month, and we'll be out there sparring with a lot of Mexicans and a lot of different styles. So, it'll be a lot of hard graft. So, yeah, it'll be different. Yeah. So, when when do we see you? Do we see you go to Texas and then literally come back and fight? We'll be back roughly, but I think it's about three weeks before the fight. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah, superb. So um, you know, we, we spoke before about you know your title shots before, and it may, maybe the weight it wasn't always done right, and that I've just commented it's off the camera. Party, yeah, the way as well, it was always it was that half party and half playing the game, yeah. and trying to train with it. Well, it never worked for me, you know. Um, last two years, I've had me had Dan training with Tony and, and the team, you know, with, with um, Eddie Ernest. It's been perfect. The whole my whole setup, you know, where I'm, where I'm living life much better. Promotional wise, and you obviously you just mentioned there your lifestyle. Like you look like, don't get me wrong, you've, you've always been a massive talent, but you look like you've got a different, renewed vigour in your right now. Yeah, you different know, game plan, different, different insights of things. Now I'm older, maturer. Yeah. The team around me is a lot more stronger, and I'm a lot more better the way I am, and it's just, it all matches, you know. Feel yeah. safe again. Um, we touched on it just there, the financial aspect of uh, fighters, and it doesn't get brought into the news enough in boxing. That you're not in it to get a pat on the back or gain people's, you know, respect yeah. and acknowledgement. You're there to, you know, you look get after paid, your children yeah, and that. Get yeah, paid, get financial, get, get wealthy out of it. Yeah. And it's it, hard how, how important is that now? You, do you feel like your whole career has been building to this moment? Yeah, you know, what I look at it as in, I could probably honestly say, this next fight I should earn more money in this one fight than I've earned in my career. So it shows you, yes, yeah. so I'm safe now. If I but should be safe now financially after this fight, but um, it's one of them things, you know. The last I led before and the way I was before wasn't white, right. it is now. I'm ready to do a job. And how would that feel coming out to your adoring fans at the O2 Arena on May the 30th? You, you know, yeah, it'd be great, it'd be nice, it'd be brilliant. You know? it'd, be, um, it'd be happy for once to go out with, in the crowd now, be confidence, I've trained right and everything's gone, gone to plan. Kevin, thank you for your time. Cheers, Tom, Cheers, Kevin.